So the latest update for the Xbox dashboard is now out. Microsoft have announced that today. And some of you might be wondering how you tell whether your console is up to date, how to force it to update, or how to make sure that it updates itself automatically and which version that you're on now. I'm going to show you that. The easiest way is to go press the Xbox button, go down to settings, and then under system, you can go down to updates, and this shows you about your, your system updates. So now if you can see at the top here, it says update console on mine, which means that my console has automatically checked for an update and there is one available, so I can press this to download it. This next button here, the latest console update status, will show you the last time your console updated, the last time it did an automated check, which I think is roughly once a day, whether the latest status was successful or not, um, and then you can also press the what's new button to see any new features that have been added in the latest update. So we'll go back to the previous screen. What you need to make sure is that this box is checked, which says keep my console up to date. Now this will make sure your console checks, I think it's every day for the latest updates. And if it, if it finds an update, then I think it will install it sort of in the early hours of the morning when you're not using the console. So that the next day you come to switch on your console it should be updated to the latest version you see there's also a button here for keep my games and apps up to date the same kind of thing that any games you've got installed this should check now and again for any updates to the game and download the updates automatically certain games you actually have to go into the the, um, the updates tab within within your games options and manually download the updates but some games update themselves automatically but for the purpose of this video, we're just looking at the actual console. So as I said, my console has now found the latest update. So I can press this update console button. It takes me to another screen telling you the size of the update. And it could take a while to download depending on how big that is and how good your internet connection is. And then it says some apps might update afterwards. So once your console itself has actually done an update and certain apps like the Microsoft Store and things like that may require their own updates to go on top of the, the main console updates. So let's press Start Update and see what happens. So this bar is now showing you that it's downloading, how much you've got remaining. There's sort of three stages to this update. So the first part is downloading, then the second part will be installing the update, and then the console will actually have to restart and when it starts back up it should be running the latest version of the software. So in this second stage it's now downloaded the update onto the console and it's now verifying that the update is downloaded correctly before it installs it. So now my console has installed the update and restarted and we're back to the dashboard again so if you go back into your settings, down to system, updates, it should say no console update available now because you're on the latest one. If you go to latest console update status, it now says last updated, today's date and time. Last, latest status update successful. So then you can also press this what's new button. It takes you to a page where you can see all the new features that have been added. And you can press next on here, go through different pages have shown you the new features that have been added in this update. 